What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, your neighborhood art director that designs movie posters for a living. Today, I'm just going to show you the quick, down, and dirty way to split up text, kind of like the movie logo for the movie Split. First, we're going to be opening up Adobe Illustrator, splitting the text, and then copying, pasting it into Photoshop while preserving layers, and then finally adding some texture. <laughs> All right, y'all, fire up your Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop. And first, we will be operating in Illustrator. Hit T on your keyboard. Now, you're going to probably want to pick a sans serif font. Using your selection tool, go ahead and select your type and then right click. And then we're just going to go to create outlines. From here, we're going to right click one more time and then go to ungroup. The hotkey for that is Shift Command G. Once you're ungrouped, we can go ahead and get our knife tool. And this is the down and dirty tool to do these kind of things. So go ahead and select your knife tool. If it doesn't show up in your toolbar, go to edit toolbar and you should find it and be able to drag it to your toolbar. Now, the thing with the knife tool is that you can zigzag it and do kind of whatever you want, like a brush. However, we want to keep our line straight. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to hold down the option key while you use the knife tool. So holding down option, I'm gonna make a split and then I'm gonna do the same thing going the other way. And then I'm just gonna make a few of these going on down. Once you have all your selections made, go ahead and hit V on your keyboard and then we're just going to start selecting out everything that we've just cut up with the knife tool. So holding down the shift key, I'm just going to select each and every splice. And then I'm just going to right click and then hit group and then move it up slightly by using the arrow keys. Now that splice is grouped and so I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. Right click or hit command G, the hotkey, group that. Then I'm gonna do this all the way down until I have everything selected and grouped properly. Now, if you guys have learned anything up until this point, please just do me a favor and hit that like button now. I really appreciate it. Now, as soon as you have everything split up, we're ready to drop this into Photoshop. With everything selected, all we need to do is hit Command C to copy. Then we're gonna go to Photoshop. And then in Photoshop, all we're gonna do is hit Command V and then paste as layers. That way we preserve our layers and if we need to edit anything in Photoshop further, we can do so easily. Now on the group, I'm gonna stay organized and just call that type. And now with everything selected in the group, I'm gonna hit Command T and increase the size a bit. The fun part is adding the texture and I already went to one of my favorite stock photography websites, Envato.com and picked up this piece of texture that is licensed. The cool thing about Envato is that they have an annual unlimited download program of around 200 bucks and that's all licensed material. They also have a monthly of around 16 bucks. So if you do get a chance, check them out and be sure to use the affiliate link below because we get a little something something for sending them business. Now the easiest part of this tutorial is actually adding this texture to our type. So once you have your texture, click on it Make sure that it's sized appropriately. So I'm just hitting Command T, increasing size, and now I'm gonna just use a clipping mask and attach the texture to the logo. All you do is hit Option, Command G, and there we have a clipping mask with our logo and texture. Now, if you guys learned anything from this tutorial, I'm on, all I'm gonna ask you to do is hit that like button and then look out for the next one in the near future. Thanks so much for watching.